This is the walkthrough video for PCTC 2021-22, round one, junior mode, and this is question seven of Fruit Shop. So this is the last question, so it's naturally quite difficult. Lots of stuff to keep track of, lots of really random things that we um, have to figure out, but we can work through this step by step. Okay, so first thing you should notice is that there's an unspecified amount of input lines, um, and whenever that's the case, you want to have an infinite loop. Um, so let's create our infinite loop here. This is how I like to create infinite loops. But before we create that infinite loop, we also need to keep track of our stock. If we start off with 50 apples and 50 oranges. So let's just keep track of our, our stock up here. So apples, there are 50, and oranges is also equal to 50. OK, so now I've got our stock. We can begin our infinite for loop, while loop and start taking orders. And each order comes in a pair. The first line of that pair is the fruit. The second line is always going to be the number of that fruit that you want. Um, so each order we can input like this, fruit, and then num is going to be um, the integers, the integer. Um, and now this is where we branch off into two cases. The fruit can either be an apple or it can be an orange. Um, so let's say if the fruit is an apple, we'll cover this case first. Um, so if fruit is equal to apples, then we'll do this. And what we want to do is we, we first need to check if the number of that fruit that they want, the number of apples that they want, is less than the number of apples that we have. Um, so let's say if num is bigger than apples. So if they want more apples than we have, then we obviously can't sell them all the apples. Um, so instead, we're just going to sell them all the apples that we do have, and therefore we reset apples to zero. And in this case, we've run out of a fruit, and the question says, when you run out of a fruit, we want to quickly shut the shop, shut, shut the shop, and so let's break out of this infinite loop. So breaking out of this infinite loop essentially means that we're not taking any more orders, and our code is going to finish running. Okay, so if num is not bigger than apples, um, then we can just take apples and reduce our stock by the number of apples that they want. Okay, and for the other case where fruit is equal to oranges, um, we can do the very similar thing. In fact, it's so similar, I'm just gonna copy it across like that and replace apples with oranges because that's what our variable is called. Perfect. Um, and there's one final thing to notice actually, which is that if we ever drop below zero apples or zero oranges, then we also need to shut shop. Um, so let's just have a final check here. If apples is below zero, no, well, below or equal to zero, I guess, um, then you want to break. Actually, we don't need to say if it's just below because it's never going to be below. It's always going to be zero or more. Let's do the same for oranges. Um, if oranges is equal to zero, we want to break. And so at this point, we've covered every case. Um, and we've broken out of this infinite loop. And the final thing that we need to print is how many of the total amount of fruits that we sold. And that's just going to be, no, we want to print out the total amount of fruits that we have left. My bad. So that means we want to print out our stock of oranges plus our stock of apples. Um, and that code should work. But yeah, there's quite a lot to keep track of here. Lots of different cases to consider, as well as the fact that we have an unspecified amount of input. Um, and yeah, you just have to kind of identify as many of these cases as possible, write the code, see if it works. If not, try and figure out why and just keep building up your code until you eventually get the right answer. And we have done that here. And good luck to anyone taking round one this year.